Just like I'm so improvement driven, so it's hard for me to think of like I don't really look at this like the stuff that we did well. Um, I'm just so worried about improvement and getting one percent better every day. But obviously, I think we came in and everyone was excited to play. It's your first game, so I think we had a we had a great uh, sense of energy out there. Um, but obviously, I think that can improve as well. Just going into Ames on Saturday. What what stands out about YA? Um, that kid is. I love that kid. To be honest with you. Um, he, every single day, he's he's ready to go at practice. Um, gives it 110% effort. I mean, the kid's huge. He eats up blocks. He, he's he's awesome to play with, and he's actually um, he's one of the smartest guys on our defense. So it's great to have him on my just right there. We can talk like you know before a play, we can kind of talk through like what we're seeing right before the play. So he's been you know just a huge help to me. It's you know I'm a six year guy, but yeah, I mean honestly, sometimes he's helping me out. So it's just been great to have him by me. Yeah, last week you touched on Nick Jackson, how he's adapted to being here at Iowa. How do you think you played with him in the first game? Uh, I thought he played really well. Um, just, you know, didn't let, uh, obviously playing in front of 70,000 of screaming fans um, is, is a tough challenge. But I think he did really well, and I'm just excited to see what he has to, you know, keep keep on doing this season. How's your camaraderie with him on the team, and how do you feel about him as a teammate, as a friend? As a teammate, as a friend, uh, I love Nick Jackson. That's, that's one of my favorite guys. Uh, I think last Wednesday, me and him went and uh, kind of, I was walking him around downtown. Sorry. <laughs> it's like, happening again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's an every week thing. Oh, gosh. But uh, every week thing. But me and him were kind of just walking around downtown Iowa City um, Wednesday night because we have Thursdays off. Not late. We were looking for food. It was like 7 o'clock, and I was kind of just picking out some spots. But we were just talking about life and just life in general. And um, he's one of my great friends on the team. And I'm I mean, he's such a help to this team. Just um, he, see, he sees things differently, obviously, just coming from an ACC program, and um, and it's just great to get his perspective on things. What's it going to be like to play against a you know a physical offense or an offense that wants to be physical versus? I mean, Utah State did what it needed to do, but I'm sure at times it probably got frustrated with you guys just because there was so quick quick passing game, hot day. It's hard to get going and doing the things you guys like to do. Uh, I mean, I think. We're all just excited for the challenge. Um, it's a rivalry game, so obviously that amps everything up. You know, we're playing for a trophy, which we we lost last year. Um, but just going off that, just we're excited to play. Um, yeah, you're right. They are physical, and that's something that we look forward to and look forward to that challenge. Being from Ames, how much more does this game mean? Uh, that's a great question. Yeah, sorry, you guys are just um, being from Ames. Um, it means a lot to me, honestly. Um, I have a lot of buddies that, you know, I'll get text messages from this week, and they're talking trash to me. But I, just, I try to stay off my phone as much as possible. But the game means a lot to me, and um, just hoping to go in there and get a win. How much does it mean to be named a captain? Uh, that meant the world to me. It really did. That was one of my goals when I, um, when I came back for my sixth year was to be named a captain. And, being selected by your teammates to go out and um, lead the team on the field is something that you know I cherish and something that I don't take lightly. You know, uh, the, not last time you were there, but the time before that, they they threw some trick plays. They, they you know, there was I think a wide receiver pass over the top mm -hmm. of one of your really young DBs who didn't stick around. Um, has that been emphasized, especially because now you've got a guy taking a second career start and, and just knowing that they're capable of doing that, especially yeah. in that environment? I mean. Obviously, I mean, I think every week trick plays are emphasized and it just comes down to being um, uh, great at your fundamentals, you know, just reading your keys and everything like that. Because, I mean, every team can throw trick plays out and obviously that did happen. What was that 2019? Yeah. I'm old. I know. You know, <laughs> been here for a while. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that did happen, but it just comes down to your fundamentals and just being ready for anything. Joe, with you being an Ames native in mind, how much did that loss last year stick with you guys as a team? Uh, yeah, it stuck with us a lot for sure. Um, obviously, when there's a trophy on the line, I mean, every game's a big game, but it um, seems like there's a little added. Um, obviously, Iowa, Iowa State, it's a huge game for the state of Iowa, and then you get bragging rights, of course. But, yeah, that definitely stuck with us and um, left just a sour taste in your mouth for, for a year. If you guys win this game, it'll be win number 200 for Kirk Ferentz. What would that mean to, to go and get that? Uh, it'd mean everything, um, just to be able to get that win for him. Um, I know a lot of the, I mean, we all play for him, and he's the best leader that I've ever been around. And 
I uh, just love that man, so just being able to do anything I can on the field to, to get him that one would be would be great. Where does Jack Trice rank in terms of stadiums and environments that you've played in? Um, it's hard to rank stadiums. I think for me personally, um, I honestly love every stadium that I play in. I think just playing in front of so many fans, is, is, it's just so cool to me. But I love Jack Trice's environment. Um, I think the fans are great you know they're going to be talking they're going to be talking trash which obviously is expected but um and i love playing on a grass field that's kind of like one of my favorite things to do is playing a grass field because it kind of feels like you're playing backyard football again so um i love the environment there and yeah i'm just excited to go play